What's up guys? Welcome back to Aquarius Zoo and uh, Planet Zoo. Uh, so we let bleh, <laughs> the last video. We took a look at the Asian Highlands. Today we're going to do the Asian Lowlands. So as we come through the Highlands, we end up on this big platform, which I absolutely love. Um, we got a little panda bear. Uh, but anyways, uh, so this area up here is just kind of an observation deck, if you will. As you can see, the guests are observing. We can press play. And we got some vending machines up here, and of course, this view does not like us being in explore mode. But it's just like a little, in my mind, I was thinking, yeah, this would be a nice little, like, resting meditation spot, if you will. So that's what I created. And we got our custom uh, education boards. So we've got the cranes in here. Can we see? Oh, there's one right there. Got lots of cranes in here, actually. Some more vending machines. And then we come down. Oops, I forget I'm not in explore mode. So we come down this way, we can go into Crikey Corner, um, to the lower half of Crikey Corner that way. Or, like I said, you can come up to the Asian Highlands that way. So coming up underneath this bridge, we've got the lanterns, we've got this crazy gridded thing here going on. Hey, I just build, guys. I just build. That's all there is to it. I start building and I just go with it. Anyways, we got our cranes down below. We've got a little area that we can come down this way. Run, crane, run! Where are you running to? Why, why, why? Why did you run? Uh, but anyways, so back here is a little area for them to hide because they do get skittish. Coming back this way, this area back here is for them to hide as well. We got the keeper's gate right back there. And you can basically just see the whole habitat from up here, which is kind of what I wanted. I wanted the cranes to swim underneath the guests and just have the guests have lots of things that they can look at. And I, th I think that I, uh, I succeeded in that goal quite well. Where are all the cranes? I know I have a crap ton of them. Well, not a crap ton, but I've got a few. We got one there. Any hiding? Nope. Let's see, two, three, four. Foods out. I'm surprised they're not chomping down on the food. No, I've got more than four cranes. I don't know where they're all hiding. I've got no clue where they're all hiding. I know we got a baby crane in here somewhere, too. Oh, there he is. There it is. There's our baby. He's adorable. Uh, but yeah, uh, so this is the crane section of the lowlands. And then if we fly over this way, we've got the, uh, the small clawed otter section. And again, I kept with the same design. Uh, I just, all the way through this, I kept the same design because it's one building, or one area, I should say. So we got their habitat right up in here we got the bubbles a box all sorts of good stuff that little area for the keeper that you see you just used don't tell me up no they're not all sleeping but yeah oh there's a little baby look at him go look at him go run forest run um but same same principle uh so they swim underneath the guests but the guests can still see underneath the bridge kind of the goal there um, I don't know why I put that there but I want to keep it and uh, yeah so we'll check out a little bit more of this we got their entertainment there more bubble machines here's a little sleepy area God, look at how small the babies are he's a small boy he's a small boy And then we got their underwater stuff. 
I need to take a, a screenshot here too, don't I? Is that a good screenshot? Not really. Not really. Come on, there's got to be an active one for me to take a screenshot on. Outside of the baby. We might have to take one of the baby. Oh, we got this guy. He's about to play with the bubbles. Maybe not. That view, maybe? Yeah, you know what? We can do this. Yeah, alright. Take a screenshot of that boy. Right. So we've got that. Like I said, this is the pathway for the staff to get up here and tend to everything that they need to tend to, clean up the poo, feed them, all that good stuff. This out here, this is going to be, uh, this might be the last thing I do, is this area right here. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the nighttime view. Since that's something that we've been doing. I didn't do a whole lot in terms of lighting for the lowlands. I kept it really simple, all on the path, because that's where you need the lighting. So let's fly through it pretty quickly, since it's not all too interesting. Over here, we've got the purple lighting on the boats. Then we got the, the lanterns, those are all lit up as well. Now that I'm thinking about it, I meant to put some lighting by that panda upstairs. I don't remember if I did or not. Oh, I did. Kind of. Nope, I did not. We should put some lighting back here. Right, let's do that right now since uh, we're here, right? We'll go lights. What kind of lighting should be back there? Can't be something too terribly obvious. So if we throw that guy... Boy, that just makes him look evil. <laughs> that just makes him look evil. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. Let's see here. No. I mean, this this one here, we can definitely hide under this. But again, it makes him look evil. How can I do this without it making him look evil and look good at the same time? That is the question, isn't it? it is. Well, we got these. Oh, these will work. Yeah, okay. This will work. So, um, kind of want it up here. Something like that. Still a little off kilter, but it's no big deal. It is no big deal. I'm trying to grab... Do I want that one? Yeah, that's what I want. We can put it like right there. Right there. I just don't want it sticking out to where it's too noticeable. Right. That works. And, um... The color for the light shall be green to match what we got going on in other areas. Yeah, it lights them up. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. There we go. Now he's lit up the way I wanted him to be lit up. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, that's it for the Asian Lowlands. Again, as usual, let me know what you think in the comment section below because your opinions do matter to me. I do want to hear them. What can I improve on? What do you really enjoy? What's your favorite part? All that good stuff. And uh, yeah, it gives me the motivation to continue doing this. <laughs> it really, really does. If you want to see the live builds, you can join me on uh, Twitch, New Dog Productions at twitch.com or Twitch TV, whatever it is. Um, I usually stream on the weekends, usually. Um, I didn't do it this weekend because it eh, work. But um, this upcoming weekend is Thanksgiving weekend. Oh boy, man, I don't know. I'm going to try to stream Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, Friday is out of the question for sure. I already know that. My day's planned for Friday. But Saturday and Sunday, I'll, I'll probably be streaming. So, if you happen to be on Twitch, 
Saturday and Sunday this upcoming Thanksgiving weekend, look me up and uh, we will start building. Well, we're probably not going to start building. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to start building it off camera. But I'm going to start building up this section right here. And I'll give you a little sneak peek of that right now of what I was going with. So you can probably figure out what animals are going to be in here. We're going to have the raccoons. We're going to have the gray seals, sea lion, the California sea lions right here, gray seals, raccoon, and moose. Those are going to be the animals featured in this section. I actually had it um, like a floor plan built for it. And um, I didn't like the way it was looking, so I destroyed it all. <laughs> it happens. I mean, that's how I do it in this game, man. I just start building. I go with it. And if I look at it and I go, you know what? This sucks. I'll get rid of it um, and start over again. And that's what I did here. I got rid of it and starting over again. So it is what it is, right? But um, yeah, I hope to see you guys on Twitch uh, again. If you like the video, hit that like button. If I've earned it, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, be safe, be cool, and have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.